been out since 1992, and we try to bring scholars and professionals together in a forum that takes place in front of the public, basically, to um, bring out different issues of comic scholarship. The panel today is um, called Para Scholarship and Literary Archaeology. Um, let me tell you a couple things about uh, what we're doing. Uh, the con is asking you to turn off all cell phones, of course. And the proceedings of the conference will be, are available on CD-ROM. Um, and they'll be available later uh, because we have a lot. It's very big. It's 162 megabytes. And it's taking longer to burn than I thought. Um, also, we're going to be using both computers today in just a second. OK, in just a minute. Um, let me just start with a little introduction into what para-scholarship para and literary archaeology are. Um, I put in the description, has everybody read James Stern's Unstable Molecules? No? OK. Um, basically, in that, he went back and told, we told the story of the Fantastic Four, but told it as if they were claiming that they were his relatives. And so presented a more realistic picture of the people who could have become the Fantastic Four and some of the problems they faced. And we told stories that we're all familiar with about the Fantastic Four, but sort of got underneath. The idea of literary archaeology is the published narratives, the straightforward, you know, Fantastic Four one through um, the number we're at now, are show you a little bit. And then what we do as scholars is dig in, go beneath that, and ex expose the connections that are invisible. I'm sorry, we're having a minor, I hope it's a minor technology problem. Um, we can make up stuff about that picture up there. <laughs> Um, 
having their adventures be reproduced in pulp fiction and narratives and films and, uh, and novels and so forth. Okay. Okay. Here's Tarzan Alive was the first farmer biography. It, it was a hoax biography because it's fiction, but he got it sold as a biography. To such an extent, he told me there was a, a javelin thrower who was an Olympic level javelin thrower, was going to compete and wanted to be put in touch with Tarzan to get tips. <laughs> uh, and then uh, go on. There's another one, Doc Savage. Keep going. And this is in the tradition of Sherlock Holmes of Baker Street, which proposed Sherlock Holmes is a real person. Okay, so that's the conceit we're operating under, that these characters are real and that uh, we are going to pull out the bits of their life. Go on. Um, he's also continued on other world news fiction. Eventually, the Peerless Pair uh, is meeting between Sherlock Holmes, Tarzan, and Watson. And the other log of Phileas Fogg shows you what really happened behind Phileas Fogg's journey. Uh, he's also had some series fiction. Um, and he's continued Tarzan series and uh, Doc Seven series. Okay. And now, Win uh, Eckert is going to explain how he has expanded the world 